welcome back to a new makeup tutorial so fun so this is um a makeup tutorial because i am i miss halloween why is it not halloween yet so yeah this one i was missing halloween and i love my cut creases recently so or lately i don't know that word words english is dumb so yeah i hope you enjoy this tutorial um Stick around if you want to look like this. Keep watching. Okay, so this look right here, it basically is worked in two cut creases, even though this bottom one isn't really a cut crease. It is done the same way, so I consider it as such. Um, if you're not super comfortable or familiar with doing cut creases, I do have a video that I will link below. It's my red and ba uh, black gothic cut crease. Um, and that gives a pretty good explanation and I'll try and explain it really well here too. Okay, so I have already moisturized um, my face and let that sink in quite a bit because I have been so super dry. And what I need to do still though is prime my eyelid with my primer that I have lost apparently. Where did the poop my primer go? So I'm just using the Wet n Wild primer take on the day. Um, it used to be under the Fergie line and I don't think it's called that anymore. I think now it's just a take on the day primer and I do both under and over and very far out of my eye because that is where my makeup usually goes whether I mean for it to or not. <sighs> And so, of course, then, too, after I prime my eyelid, I will put on my loose powder underneath to catch fallout because that will happen. Whoa. I went a little crazy town with that one. When you get your powder everywhere, that's how you know you're wearing enough. The first thing I'm going to do is do a base eyeshadow all over our eye. The palette I'm using mainly for this is the Kat Von D Monarch palette, which they have just announced they've discontinued, which is sad because it is probably one of my favorite palettes ever. But I guess on to bigger and better things. I need to get my hands on that shade and light palette, the eye palette from her, because being that it's all matte shadows, I love that. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do this initial outline here. The top one, we're just going to take a fine angle brush and your preferred black shadow. And we're going to draw in the shape of the first cut crease. This line, this, this is probably going to take the longest of all the steps here. So take your time. <laughs> um, we're going to do it in eyeshadow first as usual and then we'll go ahead when we have a good shape to it we'll go with um, belt tip eyeliner and I'll show you that too. I do the line extremely light at first because it's much easier to fix any mistakes while it is before you really go heavy. I don't really care if this inner point here or this one here is perfect because I am going to go and refine them with a felt tip eyeliner later on anyway. So now that you kind of have the shape that you want, I'm going to use a collection of brushes to get the eyeshadow the way that I want and blend it out the way that it is. Um, so I will be using a regular rounded eyeshadow brush a um, a crease brush, it's, uh, it's a small crease brush. I actually have two of these that I use because I like the different textures for blending. Um, and then I will use a short bristled um, eyeshadow brush as well. So I'm going to start with that one first and just get a line of color where I want it to be. Because uh, I know I will get fallout, I do take care into just kind of tapping it on first and ending before the, the tip of my wing here. Because I would rather fade that out. It's so much easier to add more shadow instead of taking it away. 
And I kind of start pushing it out with this brush here, but not really. This is not where I'm going to get most of the blending from. So now that I kind of have that shape in, as you can see, it does go sharp on the top part of my shadow. So I'm going to go back with my angle brush and now add that part in because then I will know where I need to blend out from there. Once again, don't go all the way to the top here. As you can see, that's where it starts fading out. You don't want to do that because you want room for your eyeshadow to move. Kind of when it comes to cut creases, stop short of where you want your eyeshadow to eventually be because you're basically going to be pushing your eyeshadow towards that when you blend it and that's the big part about cut creases uh, which the name is misleading obviously <laughs> but that is the big part about cut creases is that blending is what makes them so now i'm just going in with a fluffier brush and this adds more pigment because it picks up more pigment and as you can see i'm not pushing it out yet i'm just adding more I'm going to go in with one my denser rounded shadow brush, which is kind of like a crease brush, I guess. I don't know. It's a brush. But it looks like that. I like blending in short circles or back and forth really fast. If I'm near an edge, I'll go back and forth or up and down. If I'm near the middle, I will go in circles. Take your time on your blending because this is what will make your look or break it. And if your blend looks a little harsh, which I get the initial blending with my dense one, I have a softer brush that I move to to get a softer edge. I am going to use a small, dense, little accent brush to get a gentle blending near the wing of my eye. All right, And then I'm going to go over it with a clean shadow brush just to blend it out a bit as well. We haven't defined anything yet so it's not going to look perfect right now but that's okay. Okay I'm going to use the Giordana Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner in Black. It's a felt tip liner. I like those for accenting cut creases the best because you don't get a stray fat on fiber going all willy-nilly all over your eyelid with this. So I have just a somewhat sharp liner and I'm going to accent the tip of my cut crease here, the sharper edge and the end, the outside of it as well. I also did use it on the inner corner of my eye here for the top of the crease. Everything's falling down. basically even right okay so now that you have your initial line here what I do is I just thicken it up all around the edges because then I'm going to take more black shadow and fade out from that and that makes your crease looks look insanely sharp all right and now that I have that lined out I'm going to take my short shadow brush again tap it in some black and just blend in that solid black edge from the liner. And then I'm going to take my dense shadow brush, rounded shadow brush that is clean and just blend out the top one final time. What I will do is first I'm going to have my clean angle brush. I'm taking Rule from MAC which is a matte orange and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just outline this bottom crease first. All right, and now that you have the basic line, it doesn't have to be perfect because what you're going to do is you're going to take a white eyeshadow crayon and I am just going to put a base along that line here. That way I know my orange shadow will stick and pop. Just blend that out and itch your head. For the bottom one, you're going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and pick up a ton of orange. Maybe, well, you know, control yourself. Okay, 
So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the orange from the Monarch palette, which is a deeper, more burnt orange, and add it along the crease line and blend it down. All right, I'm going to blend those together with a clean, rounded eyeshadow brush. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angled brush again in a dark matte brown, all from the Monarch palette, and outline the crease. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to be blending this down into the orange. But you definitely want to fade out on the edges because that will give you a cleaner look. Now that you have your brown outline there, I'm going to take a small accent brush and more of the brown and just blend it down. Alright, now that we have that shape that we like, we are going to take a black felt tip eyeliner pencil again and accent that. Carefully. Seriously. And kind of like, if you can, flick it out at the end of your points, that way it kind of just blends in together, doesn't stop so short. Your makeup already looks harsh enough. It doesn't need help. Okay, now that you have that outlined, you're going to go back in with a little accent brush and black eyeshadow and blend it down. Do you have to do the black? No, I just like mine being really, I don't know, tacky? For the end of this and for the inner corner, I go to an angle brush. Okay, as you can see, it's still a little bright from the other side. Um, so what I do as well is I go back with a fluffy brush in the darker orange from the Kat Von D Monarch palette and just put it all over that and that brings the tone down and blends everything together. Um, this is the two timer liner. I'm going to use the Kohl pencil just to line my eyes. And I'm really enjoying this Giordana felt tip liner so I'm going to use that to do just my simple wing on top of that as well. Seriously, I need a better setup. Okay, to do lips, what I do is um, I take off any kind of chapstick that I was wearing, which I usually do when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to be doing a black lip today with LA Splash Lip Couture in Venom. And how I do it is what I first do is I line my lips in black liner. Um, that way my cupid's bow and my edges are sharp and it also is a good base for the um, liner to stick to. Speaking of bases, I also use NYX's lip primer on my lips. You have to do the weird crispy soil while it dries or else it's going to crack and look even weirder. While you wait, you stick things to your head. And that's basically this look here. I have not done mascara today because I am actually going to be doing a first impression on a Physician Formula mascara kit. But I really hope you enjoy this look. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you try it out, definitely tag me on Instagram because I would love to see it on you. Um, as always, speaking of Instagram, you can find me there on Etsy and on Facebook, all under Grotesca Media. I will have the links down below. Comment down below um, what your favorite part of this look is or what you think of this look. Constructive criticism, of course, instead of just saying, that's poo, you big freak, because I'm aware. Speaking of that, also until next time, just don't be a dick, because society frowns upon it and we want you all to be nice no matter how weird you look. Okay, bye.